Hey Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we are opening up the very first LitJoy crate. LitJoy is now doing a magical edition subscription service. So every quarter you will receive a new Harry Potter themed box if you are signed up for their subscription. This box here is the Magical Alley. Let's take a moment to look at and appreciate this box for a second. On the front, it says Lit Joy, magical subscription, magical alley. We have some potions down here. We have a cat, a golden snitch. We see Diagon Alley in the background there. On this side features Magical Menagerie Pet Shop. We have Weasley's Wizard Wheezes here, Madame Malkins, Gringotts Bank, Hagrid and Harry entering Diagon Alley. And there's even something on the bottom, Nocturne Alley. LitJoy's boxes are absolutely fantastic and really could be used as like display enhancers for your Harry Potter collection. Now, the first LitJoy box that I opened up was their 7.2 box, which was themed around Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two or the second half of that. So this is my second box with them and I am excited to see what is inside. Dun 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 dun. First things first, I think that these are their keys. It's like their Alohomora collection is what they call it, their key collection. These are add-on items. So when you check out, you can add on certain magical items that LitJoy offers. And these are the two keys that they released for this Magical Alley set. One of them is a B&B &B collectible key, so Borgen and Burks, and the other is a Magical Sweets key. So I'm assuming Honeydukes. So let's take a look. Well, first, before we take a look, let's take a look at this box. Silver foiling, nice black box there, LitJoy Alohomora collection, and it slides open like this. The top is covered covered in like a velvet foam to protect the key. And inside is this very nice and very shiny Honey Dukes key. Now this almost looks like a pin. It has enamel on it. This is nice. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So inside the box is a key ring, this charm that looks like a pin, and then the key itself. The key is beautifully made. We have the Honey Dukes logo up at the top. A bean is connecting these two pieces here, and the key teeth itself has a heart in the center. Very cute key, and then there's some beads at the end here. And here is the charm that is included. It says homemade sweets. It has pumpkin juice on there, some other candy, Birdie Butts Every Flavor Beans, a chocolate frog. Very bright colors, very nice thick charm. So you don't have to use this on the key. You could honestly make this into a necklace if you wanted to. All right, let's attach the key ring. And there you have it. You are now the keeper of the Honey Dukes key. When it comes to packaging in subscription boxes, LitJoy is just number one. All right, let's take a look at the Borgen and Burks key. Dun, 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 dun. Now I saw this online on their Instagram account and it is beautiful. It's better in person. I'm someone who really appreciates attention to detail. And this right here is attention to detail. Why is this key ring attention to detail? It matches the finish on the rest of the key, which it should. They didn't just go with a normal silver key ring, which would be too shiny for this set. They went with the more dull and grayish silver color. All right, here is the charm, which is awesome. It's a Borgen and Burks shop sign, established 1863. Once again, great attention to detail. They could have made this one-sided and it still would have been a great item, but this is a 360 degree finished item. The front and back are identical, including on this top piece, which has metal tassels coming off of it. The key teeth are bones, which is very cool. At the top is a B and a B for Borgen and Burks, and there is a snake coming out of the skull and resting by the bones at the end. You are now the keeper of both the Honeydukes key and the Borgen and Burks shop key. Very cool items, and again, the packaging is just top of the line. All right, let's dig our way into the box. The first item that is here at the top, Magical Menagerie, and the box says, congratulations on your new pet. Take good care of it and keep a close eye on it at all times. Magical Menagerie is not responsible for any cases of Animagi. All right, let's see what pet we adopted. We got a toad! And this is a LitJoy manufactured item. That's kind of cool. Inside the box are some schnigglies and it is a window box too. So you can see your little adopted animal on the inside there. And it's just a little plush 
code and it looks just like Trevor. And again, the packaging, I mean, look at this packaging. This in itself is a fantastic display item. The tote itself looks and feels a little cheap, but what's interesting is had this come alone in the subscription box, I'd be like, ooh, what's that? But with this box, it just kind of finishes this whole item and makes it into something that you could display on your shelves. So that's a lot of thought that was put into this product right here. All right, what is next? There's a Florian Fortescue's ice cream container here, little tin. Tea bags, seven tea bags. Decaf Ceylon tea, honey bush tea, cocoa nibs, natural raspberry flavor, natural chocolate flavor, raspberries, raspberry leaves, and natural vanilla flavor. Let's give it a smell. Hmm, it smells like chocolate raspberry tea. The tin is very cool. It has a very nice old school ice cream shop sort of a look to it. And when you're done with your tea bags, you can reuse this for whatever you want. All right, let's see. We've got a little pouch here. Feels like a coin. So I'm gonna guess there's like a galleon inside and this is going to represent Gringotts. But I could be wrong. It's a coin, but it has a spell on it. So I'm not sure if this is a new thing for Litjoy. Do they do magical coins? On this coin, the spell is Alohomora. And it says, unlocking charm, the thief's friend. On the front, it has a little lock that shows that it's unlocked. And then on the back, we see the wand movement to cast Alohomora. Very nice metal coin, very nice finish, very nicely designed. Overall, a fantastic item. And then again, packaging. Look at this little pouch. See how it's rounded like this to fit the coin perfectly? That is the attention to detail when it comes to packaging that makes LitJoy a fantastic box. I see a pin. You all know I love pins. Oh, clever. I like this. I like this a lot. So on the back, I saw that it has four clasps on it. It's two pins and it's two signs. We have Diagon Alley and Nocturne Alley. So these are the signs that point to where Diagon Alley and Nocturne Alley are located. Very nice item, nice pins. They are a little bit small, but you do get two in one package, so that's nice. Nicely made, thick pins. All right, we've got another little item here. <laughs> oh, cool. It is a badge for a magical shop to turn you into an employee for this magical shop. Hi, my name is Peter, and I am a staff member at Weasley's Wizard Wheezes. Isn't that awesome? I'm gonna put it on right now. If you have any questions about Weasley products or Skyving snack boxes, if you want to adopt a pick -me puff, I'm your guy. So as you're seeing, a lot of thought is put into these boxes. This is definitely a subscription box that I would recommend subscribing to. There's literally something for every shop in this box. Elops Owl Emporium. Check out this stunning box. This is fantastic. Supplies birds, etc. Since 1730. Beautiful box. Can't wait to see what this is. What on earth is this? I don't know what this is, but it's beautiful. So there's a gold metal windmill, and I think this goes like this. It's this gold metal plate that kind of looks like a butter dish, and engraved is the Elops Owl Emporium logo on it, and then there's this windmill thing, but I don't know what it is. Is this one of those things where like you put a candle on it and then the heat makes the windmill spin? It's still spinning. It's not stopping. Oh, wait, there's something else here. There are owls. Wait, holy moly cannoli. Okay, so there are holes in this part and I'm assuming the owls attach into those holes. These items are so incredibly unique. It's like a little mobile. How is this in a subscription box? And this box right here, another awesome item to display and just enhance your display of your collection. All right, what's next? Madame Pimpernel's Plum Bloom Perfume. It's a little perfume vial. Wow, very nice item. And I think the stopper is in here. So you could put your cologne or your perfume in here, whichever you choose, and you can feel very magical when you make yourself smell good. Very beautiful item. The only thing is that I wish that this were Harry Potter themed. It just has some flower designs on the side of the bottle itself. It would be nice if there was some sort of Harry Potter related theme to it. It's a very fragile item. Next up are some goodies here. <laughs> 
like, this is so clever. Oh my gosh. Look at this bookmark. At the bottom it says, my first visit to Diagon Alley. And it's a photo booth sheet showing Harry and Hagrid. How fun and clever is this item right here? Now, I don't think that there are photo booths in Diagon Alley, but there might be photo booths in Diagon Alley. But this is so cool. So it shows Harry and Hagrid, and then Harry's glasses breaking, and then Hagrid going in with his umbrella to fix Harry's glasses. This is really cool. This is a fun item right here. And it's something that like I never would have thought of. Again, this is a fantastic item to just include at the top of my shelves amongst my other collection items. Oh, we have instructions for the mobile, and it is one of those candle things. So you place a candle underneath, and then as the heat rises, it spins the mobile at the top. All right, what's this? Little print here showing Diagon Alley. There are a bunch of witches and wizards currently shopping for their items for Hogwarts, as well as their everyday items. Fun little square print there. There's a little pamphlet about the Lunacorns, and that is Litjoy's rewards program. So if you join, some of the items that you get are 100 reward points every month, exclusive items, extra deals and giveaways, early access to releases. So if that is something that interests you, definitely check that out on the Litjoy website. All right, we have the info sheet here which is stunning, just like their other info sheet that I saw. But the last item in here features a very famous shop, Ollivanders. So on the front it says, Ollivanders, makers of fine wands since 382 BC. And there's also a card that tells you about the properties of the wand. It is cedar wood with dragon heartstring core, 9.75 inches, and it's unyielding. Now, is this a wand or is it something else? It's like a mini wand, and then it has a stone at the top of the handle there. Now I'm pretty sure this is resin, so this isn't made of wood, but it is a magical wand, which is a perfect item to include in this magical alley box. Nice detail in the handle. It's just very small compared to the wands that we're used to. However, in the books, wands are this size. So it's kind of funny to think about if the movies had made the wands as large as they are mentioned in the Harry Potter books, this is what we would have. All right, let's take a look at the cheat sheet. Holy mother of pearl, look at this. Is that not awesome? So the front of the cheat sheet is a map of Diagon Alley, and it shows all of the different shops where they're located. So this right here can be framed if you wanted to display it. And then on the back are all of the items listed with detailed descriptions for each one. Now I'm not going to read this in its entirety, but I will show the entire thing in this video. So if you'd like, you can pause and read the different sections on your own. The first item on this list is the Florian Fortescue's ice cream parlor tin with tea bags. While Harry enjoyed several visits to Florian Fortescue's, we asked the magical folks at Riddle's Tea Shop to create a special blend inspired by the flavors of Harry's first ice cream cone in Diagon Alley. Chocolate, and raspberry. Try it as a cold brew for a cold ice cream reminiscent drink. Next up, theme art print, which was created by at David E. Ortu illustration. Does this print look familiar? Enjoy the theme art of our magical alley crate, but as a print. Collectible spell coin number one. Okay, so this is going to be a new series for Litjoy Crate, those magical collectible coins. Practice your charms and spells with our coin collection. Each magical crate will feature a different spell or charm coin and its corresponding wand movement. I love this idea. I love the coin. It's beautiful. And the artwork for the coin was created by independent artist Maggie.Rose.Studio. Elup's Owl Emporium Candle Carousel. Of all the animals we know and love, in the magical world, the owl has been the most faithful and helpful to witches and wizards for centuries. Place a lit candle on the plate under the carousel and watch the owls take flight. That is not only a cool item, but a beautiful item. Diagon Alley and Nocturne Alley enamel pin set. Welcome, said Hagrid, to Diagon Alley. We couldn't have a magical alley crate without including the iconic signage. This enamel pin set features both Diagon Alley and Nocturne Alley signs and can be worn or displayed in a number of creative ways. Artwork by Maggie Rose Studios. The next item represents Magical Menagerie. Although you can find a wide variety of delightful magical pets in the Magical Menagerie, we thought it might be best to start with one of the standard approved pets allowed at Hogwarts. He he comes in the most magical collectible box designed by independent artist Tim Biren. Hagrid and Harry's photo strip. 
Join Hagrid as we take Harry on his first trip through Diagon Alley. Be sure to stop at the complimentary photo booth to commemorate the moment. It may be a bit squishy with Hagrid in there. The artwork was created by Sarah Conradson, and it looks like this is going to be another new item, and it replaces Litjoy's trading card collection, and the new photo strip collection will be found in their magical crates. Madame Pimpernel's Beautifying Potion. No matter your beauty-related need, Madame Pimpernel's has something to help maintain and enhance your own magical glow. Straight from the perfume counter, and made of delicate Egyptian glass, this perfume bottle is ready to house your signature scent. Designed in collaboration with artist Tim Biren. Next up, the Weasley's Wizard Weezes Staff Badge. We've always wanted to work there. Pin on your staff badge to add a punch of color and a bit of whimsy to your daily uniform. Artwork by independent artist J. Scott Clausen. And the last item is the Ollivander's Wand. Litjoy is proud to bring you this exclusive gem handle wand, perfect for daily magical use or to add to your wand collection. This imitation cedar wood is 9.75 Nine and three quarters. Oh my goodness. The wand is nine and three quarters inches long. Genius. This imitation cedar wand is nine and three quarter inches long with a dragon heartstring core. Wand designed by Litjoy. Box art by Katarina. And the featured add-ons. The sweet shop key. It's opening time at our favorite sweet shop. Good thing you have your key handy. Each key in the Aloha Mora collection comes in a beautiful box and includes special Litjoy exclusive designs. That's a very fun collection. The dark magic shop key. When closing shop at Borgen and Burks, make sure that the door is locked tight. And then another add-on which was not included in this box is a key ring for your Aloha Mora key add-on collection. The only thing more exciting than collecting the Aloha Mora key collection is displaying it on our bookshelves. Use this LitJoy exclusive key ring to display your keys or carry them with you as you travel the magical world. I mean, the information sheet is stunning. The items are stunning. I think that this is a great start to LitJoy's magical subscription service. All right, let's go over some favorites. I'm not a big coin person, but I really like the uniqueness of this, a spell coin collection. So I would definitely say that this is a favorite right here. I'm excited to see what spell coin comes next in their next box, which will have a burrow theme. Another favorite item is this staff badge right here. I thought that this was really clever. The mobile is another favorite very clever and beautiful. Least favorite items I would have to say is the perfume bottle. For one, I don't use perfume bottles, but that in itself would not be a valid reason for it to be in my least favorite item category. The reason it's my least favorite is because it has no Harry Potter theming. Although it's beautifully designed and the glass is etched, it looks like a typical perfume bottle that you can purchase. So that is why this is in my least favorite category. The other item, although it's clever, is the wand. I love the box. I think the box is beautiful. The wand itself, although again, nine and three quarters inches is is a clever length for a wand. This would have been a better item had it been larger or closer to full size, as well as had a little bit more detail, maybe some wood grain look to make it look and feel like it was made out of wood. What about you guys? What were your favorites? What were your least favorites? Let me know in the comments down below. If you would like to subscribe to Lit Joy Crate's magical subscription, check the description down below for a link. A big thank you to Lit Joy Crate for sending these magical items. If you have any questions about Harry Potter or collecting, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?